Can you talk about, you know, what kind of overview, what kind of, you know, kind of uh, visibility developers get? You know, I think it's, we can talk about, you know, dashboard. Sure. Um, so we created the Zephyr dashboard, as we call it, uh, to showcase, you know, hundreds of boards that Zephyr supports and how well that's covered by Renode. And the reason is that uh, while developing, you know, tools, you often lose sight of how, you know, how to present this to, to people, how to show uh, the, the strengths of your framework, especially in combination with, with Zephyr. Uh, so, and we found the, the dashboard to be an excellent way to kind of uh, show to people that you can actually simulate, you know, hundreds of different boards um, and run your software without actually having to buy anything. Um, and it's been a great journey because it also allowed us to see a lot of patterns in the electronics world, you know, just like Zephyr is discovering patterns to make more efficient, you know, its internal structure, the way it approaches drivers, subsystems, and so on. Uh, so this kind of uh, symbiosis, uh, let's call it, with, with Zephyr allows our simulation framework to also kind of develop in the direction of covering the abstractions that are created in the hardware world in a way that is kind of uh, natural, you know, natural both in the development sense, so of course we want to make our lives easier when we're developing Renode, uh, but also just simpler for our users, right? And uh, the fact that uh, Zephyr has this modular structure that allows us to reuse different uh, models um, in Renode makes it just easier to kind of uh, reuse stuff, to not redo code over and over and over again. And that translates to a better user experience.